Welcome back. Our next guest stars in the ABC sitcom The George Lopez Show. He also has a brand new book out entitled Why You Crying? Please welcome George Lopez. You've done very well. People in your neighborhood must be very proud of you from your old neighborhood. Is, well, that, is that true? <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not true, Conan. Uh, <laughs> you know, I actually live in an area and a culture that is prouder when things go bad. Really? You know, there's a couple of guys graduated from, you know, the college and in the neighborhood. Nobody talks to them, really, almost if they've been ostracized. But there's one guy in my neighborhood that got electrocuted, and that dude is the star. <laughs> he was and electrocuted. Time, electrocuted. All the time, everybody goes, hey, where's your friend? Oh, the one that got electrocuted. And the guy will show up, and he'll say, he'll be proud. Hey, did you guys hear I got electrocuted? And they'll go, yeah. And he says, you know what happened, man? I found a refrigerator in the field, right? And it didn't have a door. So I started thinking, you know what? I can make an ice chest out of it. So I laid it down. I put beer in with ice, but it had a little bit of a cord. And I thought, my mom has a curling iron she's not using, so I hooked up the cord. <laughs> the and then I forgot that the grass was wet, and when I plugged it in, it just, you know. Right. So he gets back up, and he says, hey, you know what? I didn't drop my beer. You know. <laughs> that's, that's the big thing to be uh, proud of. My beer. How many stories end with, and I didn't drop my a, beer? A lot, a lot. Yeah. yeah. That's how it, all stories end in my and family. And the whole yeah. front yard smelled like carne asada, and I didn't drop my beer. <laughs> you know. Now, uh, you are not happy with the reality show mm. trend. Is that? Oh, my God. It's, it, you know, they just did the upfronts for all the networks, and there's more reality shows than ever. You know, The Swan, Extreme Makeover. And I'm old school, man. I'm 43. You know, Conan, I believe that some, men, some people are meant to be ugly. Right. You know? Right. I don't think we need to fix every busted lip or chip tooth. <laughs> You know, when I was growing up, if you were missing a front tooth, you just laugh like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and the fact that they've made, you know, ABC is holding the network together with extreme makeover. Right. I mean, where they usually take a person who's, who's not very attractive, usually from the South. And, <laughs> and... Look, I've already dug a deep enough hole I know, here. Uh, I'm going, I'm need, going in with you. I need your help, okay? And, and, and in an hour, they're beautiful. Back in my days, Conan, that's what a 12-pack did. You wanted somebody... <laughs> you wanted somebody to be attracted to you. Between this and the 12-packs and some mystic blackberry wine coolers, beauty was at the bottom of the bottle. <laughs> I could use some of that right around now. Now, uh, you talk, in the book, you talk about, and I, and I don't understand, but you talk, you say that uh, in Latino culture, you don't go to the doctor. No. You don't, that Latinos don't like to go to the doctor. It's Why? A, it's an opposite, it's an opposite culture. You know, the minute you don't feel well, you don't say anything. You know, you, you somebody will say, hey, uh, you're losing weight. Yeah, I, I got cancer, but I'm really not, you know. I'm really happy with the weight loss, so I'm not going to go check. <laughs> oh, God. You know, my, my, un my uncle had a stroke, right? And the, his, his, his biggest claim to fame, Conan, he would say, hey, do you know what my cholesterol level is? And, and I'm like, no. And he goes, guess. And I said, I don't know. He goes, just guess. I said, 140, higher. I said, 170. You're not even warm. <laughs> and he, I would say, 250? He'd go, 475. <laughs> <laughs> He said, top that. He said, right now, man, I can't feel my left, my left side, but you know what? I'm going to get it to 500 by Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all point of pride. All pride. All pride in the negative. You know, one of the things that's great is, is I was in a shopping uh, uh, center parking lot, and a guy was backing up, and a guy he didn't know, an Anglo gentleman, runs right. over, and a guy on a Lexus is about to hit a pole. And he's saying, stop! Oh, my God! You almost inadvertently hit this pole. And the other guy's like, thank you so much. And the guy says, you better get those rear sensors checked. Mm -hmm. Because uh, apparently they're not working. Mm -hmm. When I saw that car backing up and was going to hit the pole, I told my friends, hey, watch what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't know. That's not Latino. That's... I would be the same way. And then I yelled out to him after he's checking his broken lights. I know somebody that can fix it. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about, uh, go, so going to the doctor going is Going to not, the doctor is not... Going is, to a doctor's office. How, what do they do when they really well, you know, need we medical... Go, we go to emergency. We don't go to the doctor. 
You know, most people go preventive when they're right. there. You know, right. Mr. O'Brien, yes, I'm here for my checkup. Right. Us, you know, we're, we're an emergency. Like, our family will not go to a baptism or a wedding reception, but you end up in an accident, and they all go to the emergency room. You know, I'll go to the emergency all room? All go to the emergency, and they go, is he dead? And they're like, no, he's still like, oh, man, you told me he was dead. I ran over for nothing. <laughs> you know, so, so uh -huh. and there's always, uh, and, and, I mean, we bring meat, and there's a little grill set up. And the, <laughs> You know, the, doc the doctor's like, I've never seen a barbecue grill in the ER before, but that, <laughs> that meat smells fantastic. Yeah, looks good. Let me give me some of that. So, yeah. then, so then they would always go to my grandmother. My grandmother's older, and she speaks very little English, and she'd be already with the rosary beads, and the doctor would come, and he'd be very, you know, medical. Excuse me, uh, senora, there's a situation that's very grim, and she'd be like, no, doctor, I don't, I don't, I don't talk it through. <laughs> I only be United States 59 years, I don't talk it through. <laughs> So we all have a spokesperson. What happens is that in Latino families, there's a spokesperson assigned who's the for the family. He's, talks to the emergency he's room the, doctor. Talks to the emergency room, and, and they'll say, "I want to do it." And the, my grandmother would say, "No, mira, not you, Oscar. You work at Target. Talk to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> put so your, put your vest on so he can see that you're a professional." <laughs> <laughs> and there he is with the vest. You know. <laughs> Did I tell you I got electrocuted? Go up to me. It's really funny stuff. Uh, very funny stuff, and a lot of it's in this book, George Lopez, yeah, uh, Why book. You Cry in premiere. Uh, well, George show, Lopez, a, yeah. uh, this is the special premiere Saturday night at 9 on Showtime, and that's the special. Yes, it's, it's, special. it's a special called Why You Cry. Bill Cosby's probably going to want to kick my ass because it's not Why Are You Crying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's Why he You Crying, like that. which he is the mantra that my grandmother would always say to me. Why are you crying? I'm saying, because you pulled my hair? And she'll be like, what was I going to do, leave without you? <laughs> <laughs> It was pure portable, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Why You Crying uh, book is uh, oh. available in stores. George Lopez, very funny. Man. Thank you Tom so much. Good man. We'll be right back. Tom Pop is here. Stick around.